Hey Sugarboo, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Paw Pons. I have my youngest baby girl, Callista, here. I did my very first perm rod set on her, and oh my gosh, I was super nervous on what the results were gonna be like. Um, but they turned out really, really good, and can y'all believe these are heatless curls? Oh, yes, let's get into it. All right, Bessie, so I washed my baby girl's hair using the Auntie Jackie's Kids hairline, the shampoo and conditioner, and I'm also gonna use the leave-in conditioner. I believe it's the not having it leave-in conditioner. These products are very light, not super heavy on Callista's fine hair, and that's the products I tend to go for whenever I'm styling her hair. So I work this in really, really good, and then we're going to detangle really, really good, and I'm gonna go ahead and re-wet her hair because her hair dries so freaking fast i'm using a foaming mousse the lot of body and then i'm going in with these yellow ish perm rods i don't know what size they are but they tend to go by color codes for be, for this to be my first time doing a perm rod set on Callista's hair, I really did not know what my results were going to be out like, nor did I know what products to really try. So I just tried something basic, leave-in conditioner and the foaming mousse. Her hair dries pretty quickly, so I also didn't want to use heat on her hair either. I have yet to use any kind of heat on Callista's hair. I just feel like she's a little too young for that. So I wanted to put these in early enough to where her hair would dry. And since her hair does dry pretty quickly, we just put these in overnight and then the next morning took them out for school so the key to make sure that her hair is going to be dry in time for school I don't do her hair super super soaking wet I tried not to do it like super wet um, if her hair was a little bit dry once you add that foaming mousse it kind of wettens it just enough to where it's not overly saturated and I really use like one pump per little section of hair um, it really didn't require much to get her hair to set and hold to the rollers. I had no issues with slipping or anything like that. So I was really happy that these came out really good. I feel like I'll definitely do this style in the future um, again. But next time I think I might try a little smaller rod set instead of these. These are probably about an average size. They give you a nice spiral. I think I wanna try something a little bit smaller. And Callista was all game for it too. I was kind of like shocked that she was like really like into it. She really loved the rollers and everything. So I'll definitely be giving this style another go. I look like a grandma now. <laughs> we are trying to make curly hair. Mm -hmm. I want to eat my noodles. Hey, noodles. <laughs> 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 I don't want Mickey. I want noodles. All right, so we're on to the next morning. I'm going in with a very lightweight oil. This one is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey. I use this oil whenever I do my twist outs or my flat twists on myself. 
and I love that it adds a nice shine and it doesn't make your hair super heavy and feel like you're putting a whole bunch of product in your hair. So I'm doing the same thing with Calista. I spritzed all of the rollers before I took them out using the shine mist and we're just taking them out. Anything that comes out a little wonky, I just spiral it real quick to bring back the curl from formation, but it looks really, really good. Now that I've removed all of the rollers, she is super in love with these curls. I'm just going to finger rake her curls. Um, I wanted to give it a little bit more volume at her roots so we don't see all the parts from where we had the rollers in. This is also going to fluff up her curls just a little bit more, just to give them a little bit more formation. Um, I did add a few hair clips in there as well because she is going to school and I don't want her hair to be a distraction, which I'm pretty sure is going to be because she, like, all, all she wants to do is talk about her hair at this point. I'm curious to see how long this style is gonna last on Boo. Like, <laughs> when I do rod sets, whether it's a flexi rod or a perm rod set on Kehlani, and her and Kalista have similar hair, um, whenever I do them on Kehlani, they never make it past day two. Um, Lani's hair is a lot thicker than Kalista. Kalista has thin, fine hair. Um, so I'm hoping that I can at least get three, four days out of this style with Boo. I probably might style it in different ways. Maybe do like a half up, half down style. You know, a couple of ponytails here and there. Um, but I, I'm curious. I really hope that it does last at least for the rest of the week, for the school week. Um, but this was super easy. Boo really, really loves it. And the curls just look so cute on her. Well, that is it, besties. Thank you for joining us on another tutorial. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.